Mr. Strong put the eggs carefully down on his kitchen table and went to close the kitchen door. Crash! The door fell off its hinges. Whoops, said Mr. Strong, and sat down. Crunch! The chair fell to bits. Whoops, said Mr. Strong, and started cooking his lunch. And for lunch, he was starting with eggs, followed by an egg or two, and then eggs, and then for his pudding, he was having... Well, can you guess? If you can, there's no need for me to tell you that he was having... Ice cream. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. Strong. Round, heavy, and far too big. Greedy's belly is stuck in the fridge. It shouldn't be here, I've been told. My belly's in the jelly yeah, and it's far the too cold. Heave ho, don't let me go. Get Mr. Strong, he won't say no. Out of the way, now let me through. All you the pulling is too hard for you. Out comes his belly, all of the way. Strong Mr. Strong has saved the day. With jelly on his belly and ice in his ear, Mr. Strong says, give Greedy a cheer. Hurrah! Hurrah! La 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 Mr. Clifford. Your Toby, Mr. Clever. Mr. Clever by Roger Hargraves. Mr. Clever was quite the cleverest no person ever. The cleverest person in the world. And he knew it. Oh, I am so very, very clever, he used to say. And to himself, more often than not. He lived in Cleverland, where, as you may know, everybody and everything is as clever as can be. In Cleverland, Clever trees manage to grow apples and oranges at the same time. In Cleverland, clever flowers get up and go for a walk. Clever worms drive around in cars all day. And clever elephants play tennis. Oh yes, Cleverland is quite the most clever place. Would you like to live there? Mr. Clever does. Oh, I am so very, very clever to build such a clever house, he used to go around telling everybody. And Mr. Clever's house was a very clever house indeed. <laughs> 